Ali, I do want to focus on those evacuations. What is the status at this moment? Well, Katie, as you mentioned, those buses that were being escorted by the Red Cross didn't make it in. The Russians made it very clear that no humanitarian aid or food was going to get into Mariupol. And as you know, supplies have been running extraordinarily low there for quite some time. The people have very little there, no running water, heating, electricity or food, which was on those buses. Now, we have heard some reports that some people on their own, in their own private vehicles, have made it out of Mariupol. But the situation there continues to be dire. They were hoping to get those up to 54 buses into Mariupol today to get out, you know, thousands of people, but that hasn't happened. So around 150 to 170,000 people still remain very heavily hemmed in in Mariupol while the Russian forces have that place completely encircled. And Katie, it's just not Mariupol that's experiencing that. We just spoke to the mayor of uh, Cherniev, and the situation in Cherniev is looking very dire, very much like Mariupol. He painted a very similar picture of what's going on in Mariupol. He says the troops have encircled that city. They've blown up bridges into Cherniev so no supplies can get in. They've blocked all the roads into Cherniev so they can't be used. And he told me that uh, civilian boats that are being guided by the Ukrainian army is the only way to get very small amounts of humanitarian aid into Cherniev, which that is also, he's saying, is running out out very quickly. So humanitarian disaster after humanitarian disaster in multiple cities here, Cheniv looking much like Mariupol. You know, these ceasefires um, don't sound a lot like the ceasefires uh, that we are expecting, at least from the term, and not allowing the, the Red Cross to get in with humanitarian aid is, is a pretty big deal.